What's up, everyone? This is Gail Dudley. Good morning with your news in motion. Today is Friday, July the 17th, 2020. And as you know, this is what this is Friday. I do whatever I want to on Friday while sharing some news highlights. First off, the Associated Press, that's called the AP, the Associated Press, they shared on yesterday, they were the first to report that um, Governor, uh, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, he um, sued the mayor of Atlanta over the city's requirements to wear masks in public. Um, isn't that amazing? Yeah, so let's just start with Governor Kemp. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Michelle. Uh, suing the Atlanta mayor, Keisha Lance Bottom, over mask requirements. There's many people that have hit Twitter last night, sending her a tweet. Good morning, Kim Hill. Sending her a tweet saying, we stand with you or I stand with Keisha. And, and we have our mask on taking our, our selfie. So if you want to support Keisha Lance Bottom, go ahead and go to her Twitter, which is at Keisha Bottoms, at Keisha Bottoms on Twitter. Just take you a selfie with your mask on and hashtag I stand with Keisha or hashtag we stand together. What's up, Jacqueline Jones? Next up, while the killers of Breonna Taylor are walking around free, 87 people were charged with felonies um, after Breonna Taylor protests at Attorney General's house. Y'all, the 2021 Rose Parade is canceled. You know, does that mean, oh, never mind. You know, we don't know what 2021 is going to bring, but the Rose Parade has been canceled. GOP Governor of May, uh, Maryland, Governor Hogan, says the occupant of the office is too preoccupied with tweeting to listen to health experts. Now, he is, he's a GOP governor. He's had enough. As seen in Slate, the Supreme Court has stopped 1 million people in Florida from voting in November. 1 million. Why? Because of unpaid court debt. Now, this will open the voters up to, persecute for, to prose, prosecution for casting a ballot. Uh, the justices have effectively permitted Florida Republicans to uh, impose a poll tax in November. Yes, Elizabeth, 2021. That's just like, you know, January 1st, which is coming up in less than six months. Yeah, so that Rose Parade has been canceled. What's up, Adrian? The U.S. Postmaster General tells postal workers to leave mail behind if it slows down their route. Okay, so now we're not going to get mail on time? Well, that's what it says. The workers were told if you get mail late and your carriers are gone, you cannot get the mail out with it without overtime. It will remain until the next day. That's what's happening with your mail. So if you're expecting something, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're expecting something and it has not arrived, they probably left it behind to the next day. All right, we got to talk about these coronavirus numbers. The HHS, which stands for Health and Human Services, uh, directs CDC to put the COVID-related hospital data back on its website. If you recall, yesterday I talked about how they stopped uh, reporting it to the CDC and only reporting it to the White House and not making it public. Well, now it's back to the CDC, but now we don't know if the numbers are inflated, what's happening with the numbers. So something's happening, but we need to be mindful. That's why we vote people. What's up, Latrice Jones? That's why we vote people. That is why we vote. Y'all know I'm here to argue the case as to why we vote and register to vote so that we can vote in all elections, not just the big one. 31% of Florida children tested for COVID-19 have tested positive. That's happening. 60% of the Ohio population will be under a mask order as of 6 p.m. tonight. That's happening. Colorado, Arkansas um, state have been, um, enacted a statewide mask mandates. Target, CVS, Publix have joined Walmart, Best Buy, Sam's, Kohl's, and Kroger's. That's happening. What's up, Pamela Lewis? All right, here's the numbers. And again, I get them from the World Health Association. 3,695,025 cases, U.S., 141,118 deaths, but recovered, 1,679,633 has recovered. All right, y'all, October the 5th. October the 5th. That is the last day to register to vote to be able to vote in the November 3rd election. Hey, what's up, Barbara Kirby? So listen, y'all, listen, this is what's important. You have to check on your information. You have to go to IWillVote.com. You can go to Vote.gov. You can go to RockTheVote.org. You can go to ReadyPublication.com and hit the Ready to Vote campaign. 
You also have vote.org. You have whenweallvote.org. There are many, many things out there that you can check your registration. Do not wait until the deadline. I shared with you all last week about my experience with um, BMB, where I needed my marriage license to get the updated of my driver's license, and they were trying to tell me I could just take a provisional ballot. No, you don't want that. You are the last people to be vote be counted after they have vetted you. So you want to make sure you understand the voting, and your voice does matter. Your voice matters so much. Everything I just read, come on, y'all. What was happening here? What's happening? How can we have the government? governor of New York helping out the mayor in Atlanta when her own governor is not helping her out. That's reason enough to vote. Voting starts at the local level and it trickles up. Don't just focus on the occupant and the, uh, of the oval. Start with your local government. See what's happening right at the bottom level. What's up, Beverly Woodard? So with all of that, I wanted to give you a quick news, just quick news, because y'all y'all know it's time to turn up. It is time to turn up. We are celebrating me walking into that chapter 55 that happens on Sunday, July the 19th. And I wanted to do it today to party with all of y'all. Now you had a choice. This is mine. You had a choice to come with your orange juice or come with a mimosa. It was totally up to you. So, you know, every week, I every day, I give for the win. So, for the win, I say all of you are for the win. For the win, for walking with me, for supporting me, for always tuning in this early in the morning. Just to just come and to hear in the, the response, the, the, um, the DMs, the... Um, text messages, the emails, the posts, they have been overwhelming. Thank you for joining me every morning, Monday through Friday, to, to just get a quick rundown of the news. And I know sometimes it's really heavy, but you're still here. You're still sharing the video. You're still, you've made the commitment to all of you who made the commitment to contact or to connect with someone who may not be registered to vote. Thank you so much for reaching out to them. Um, it says, girl, I need to see your ID. Girl's 55. Yes, it's 55. Yes, yeah, someone said the other day they thought I was only 30. I was at Costco trying to get in early to get in line to get some Clorox wipes, you know. And the guy would not believe that I was over 50. He wouldn't believe it. It was an older gentleman. He wouldn't believe it. Literally, I had to show my license so I could get in. They didn't believe it. So, hey, it is what it is. So I have to have an inspirational message, as I always do every day. And the inspirational message I have today is joy. And I think of this, the scripture, count it all joy when we die. You know, just count it all joy, no matter what the trials are, whatever's going on around you. Count it all joy. I'm counting it all joy because I am actually, praise God, hopefully, that I can make it to Sunday. I am just counting it all joy. I'll share a quick story and then we're gone for the day. And don't forget, y'all got to get ready to turn up because I need to see those selfies in this thread of you with your orange juice or your mimosa, whatever you have. Just make sure you pull it out, put the picture there. But just a really quick story about joy and why this is just a part of me, been for several, several years, just a part of me, is that there was a time about five years ago that I was like, where's my joy? My joy had disappeared, but thank God it came back. Thank God it came back. And this, there's times you have to press to get to that place of joy. You have to press. No matter what's going on around you, you have to remember where you come from. And when I am come on here, I know there's people all over the world that's looking at this video. And I just want to say to you, yes, I am a believer of Jesus. That's who I am. That's why I end every segment with the inspirational message. So count it all joy. Count it all joy. I told you yesterday that all week that I'm just being thankful. I'm not asking God for anything in particular. I'm just saying, God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for giving me my joy. God, thank you. What's up, Bill Palmer? Just thank you, God, for everyone, for everything that you have done. God, thank you for breathing life into my lungs, into my nostrils. God, thank you for keeping me safe from any disease. God, thank you for blessing our finances. God, thank you for blessing our household. God, thank you for blessing my marriage. God, thank you for blessing my children. Count it all joy, people. We can go into a praise party right now. Just count it all joy. Count it all joy. And as you're counting it all joy, I have to say her name this week. I have to say her name again today. Brianna Taylor. Yes, Brianna Taylor. Say it with me. Brianna Taylor. And looking at Michelle Bowie on here, y'all have to follow her. She's doing a segment called I Am Enough. 
I am enough. So before I sign off, I have to share this. Last night I was going through my Twitter feed and some of you may have seen me retweeting it. And I came across a friend, um, not, not a direct friend, but a friend who I follow, we follow each other, who had talked about committing suicide. That happened at 11, 1130 last night. Yes. So many people were on the thread telling her, don't do it, don't do it, that she's enough. And I remembered, Michelle, I remembered your, your live the other day. And I told her, gave her your name, and I said to her, you are enough, you are valuable, I just need you to breathe. We were giving her the suicide hotline number. We were telling her to call 988. We, were, we, were, we had pastors that were coming on. We had apostles that were coming on. We had people that were coming on telling this young woman that she is enough, that she is enough. So I shared with her joy. I said, look, there's joy. You just have to be still, you have to breathe. I even encouraged her to go get a, sh uh, take, get a shower if she had a capability to get into a shower and just be still and know that God is God. People were praying over her. People were loving on her. People were encouraging her. Then there was just a sense of peace when a counselor came on and then the young lady finally said she was gonna call the number. But you never know what people are going through. You never know what people are going through. And I love what I'm doing. I guess this is my life after 50, not going to say my life after 55, because 55 is coming on Sunday, July the 19th. So count it all joy. All right, y'all. Y'all got the quick news rundown. I need to see those selfies in this thread. This is mine. So let's get ready to turn up, people. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Oh, October the 5th. October the 5th is the last day to register to vote, to be able to vote in the November 3rd election. It is the last day to register to vote. Now, in this pandemic, some states will change. So you need to check your Secretary of State website to see any updates, to see how you're voting. Are you doing mail-in? Will there be poll voting? Will there be, will there be early voting? This year, I'm early voting. I have to. I have to. With everything that's going on, y'all, we don't know what's happening. When you have a governor who wants to sue a mayor because she wants to take care of her people and mandate a mask, are you kidding me? Y'all, that, that's the type, that's why we gotta vote. Our voices need to be heard. Our voices need to be heard. All right, y'all, you have a great weekend. Until Monday, happy birthday to me. I am celebrating all weekend. So, glass up. Let's turn up. Let me see those selfies in the comment section with your either your champagne glass of mimosa or your champagne glass of orange juice, whatever it is. You have a great week. Count it all joy. I'm Gail Dudley, and I am out.